Alright, this is the uh, Unigene Heaven benchmark. I'm going to run it in uh, DirectX 11. Shade is high, tessellation enabled. Anisotropy, however you pronounce it, maxed. Anti aliasing maxed. And resolution 1280 by 1024. Run that. I'll just leave the camera on while this runs through the benchmark. Because uh, the DirectX 11 looks really nice. I won't say much, you won't want me yappering on through the benchmark. Alright, um, the benchmark stopped working in Windows, so I don't know why it did that. So, uh, we'll run the benchmark. Got um, GPU Z open on the other screen. Uh, 51 degrees temperature, 40% uh, fan, GPU load 99%. So at 40 degrees, it's keeping it nice and cool. 52 degrees is nice for a ATI temp because they run hotter than Nvidia. So, um, yeah, I think NVIDIA would be running hotter than that actually at this point, because my uh, GTX 260 got to about 60 degrees at one point on DirectX 10, so uh, on tessellation it's not available on DirectX 10 uh, hardware, so it's doing even less work than this is. Yeah, I don't know if I said it before, but the um, the uh, oh, what you call it Windows Experience score, the uh, assessment for it. Um, my computer keeps crashing on. I think it's the Direct 3D 10 geometry assessment. Um, never done it before until I put this 5850 in so if anybody knows a fix for it or if they've had it and resolved the problem can you let me know because uh, it's bugging me at the minute and um, it crashed on 3D Mark Vantage as well before loaded up the Jane Nash assessment the first one so I don't know if that's related or whether it's just a random crash so I'll retest it again if it crashes again uh, I'll put it in the description of this video I think can't get over how nice this benchmark looks with tessellation enabled It'd really benefit off uh, Crossfire 5000 series cards. I'm getting about 20 to mid 20s on this at stock clocks. So another one, another HD 5850 would uh, probably get you a nice score. 
around the 40 to 50 FPS mark. Right, we've got a FPS score of 25.5 um, and a score of 641. That's with DirectX 11. Uh, tessellation enabled or maxed out at 1280 by 1024. So, uh, there'll be more benchmarks to come. Alright, so it's now overclocked to 1000 MHz and uh, I've cranked the fan up to 50% compensate for the overclock. So, I'll rerun that test. DirectX 11 or maxed out and I'll run that. I'll just cut this now and uh, skip to the end. Alright we're just coming to the end of the overclock benchmark. Um, don't know if you can hear me over this fan. It's at uh, 50% to try and cool it down from the overclock. Temperature I've seen is 66 degrees hottest and you can see there it's overclocked to 1 gigahertz. Uh, FPS we're getting 30.9 which is pretty nice jump for DirectX 11 um, 5.4 FPS increase from the overclock so uh, that's pretty nice um, not sure which benchmark we're doing next probably either Batman or Dirt 2 um, We've got Resident Evil 5 to do as well, so uh, subscribe, keep watching, um, and should have some more benchmarks soon.